A word on the street is that you had a crush on Jessica Will Rabbit. Rab no. Oh! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Heidi Lay, your collector animation, bringing animation and collectibles together here on Collector's Cafe. Did Popeye influence your spinach intake as a child? As a child, it was, it was gross. Now when I have it, I can't not think of Popeye, or that it might actually give me some muscles. Our guest today is author and animation historian Jerry Beck. He's the editor and founder of CartoonResearch.com and has taught animation classes at UCLA, NYU, and currently at CalArts. Mm -hmm. He was vice president at Nickelodeon Movies and has written and contributed to more than 15 books on topics ranging from Warner Brothers cartoons to SpongeBob SquarePants. Jerry Beck. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Oh, this is amazing. Who are your animation heroes? Well, Bob Clampett, who uh, was the person behind Beanie and Cecil, but also created Tweety and uh, Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd and all those great cartoons back in the old days. I mean, he was one of my idols, and I got to meet him. If you could be any cartoon character, who would you be and why? The character that I'd want to be and the character most people would want to be is Bugs Bunny. Ooh, so and not, cool. And not just because he dresses up in, in women's clothing <laughs> in half the cartoons. <laughs> Bugs Bunny is the smartest, cleverest, most talented character back in those days, yeah. and, and we want to be like Bugs. Well, you've written over 15 books, including The Art of Tom and Jerry. I was just wondering, why do you think Tom and Jerry remain so popular over the years? The great thing about the great characters that we love and is that we can identify with them. It, most of us are either Tom or Jerry. Question. What are the pros and cons of CGI versus traditional animation? I prefer hand-drawn animation because the personality of the animator comes right through from his brain right to the pencil to the paper. The cons? It takes a long darn time. I have faith that hand-drawn animation in a bigger way will come back. So now it's time to play a game called Would You Rather. Would you rather grab a brewski with Bug Bunny or Daffy Duck? Bugs. Okay. Because it would be a little more sober. Would you rather sing karaoke with Rob Paulson or Mel Blanc? Mel Blanc. Mel is the man of a thousand voices. <laughs> Would you rather have a night on the town with Chuck Jones or Tex Avery? Tex. No yeah. question. Sorry, Chuck. Would you rather go to space with Wile E. Coyote <laughs> or go bird hunting with Sylvester the Cat? Well, both of those are pretty scary because I know. both would end with an it's explosion. I think I'd rather keep my feet on the earth with Sylvester. Would you rather go on a road trip with Tom and Jerry or the Flintstones? Oh, because if I went with the Flintstones, I'd have to do my own driving with my two feet, <laughs> you know? So Tom and Jerry, though it may be chaotic, that probably would be more fun. Yeah. Let's talk collectibles, <laughs> Jerry. I'm going to start with my, one of my books. This is the 100 Greatest Looney Tunes cartoons. Before the internet, before we could make screen grabs off of DVDs, I would go around looking for the old lobby cards for these cartoons. One I've got is plastic for Old Glory. And Warner Brothers made two of these still photo lobby card-like things for every cartoon from 1930 to 1969. They also made still photos, which are even harder to find. They would take images of cells back in the day. This is from uh, the classic Horton Hatches the Egg. And on the back of it, it tells you who took the picture at Warner Brothers Sunset Studios. Here's an extremely rare lobby card. This is a Terry Tunes. I've There's never seen one of those, Jerry. But this is from really obscure. Now, Heidi, you were asking me about my favorite animators, but I got to meet some of them and they were nice enough to give me cells. So this is from Frizz Freeling, one of my favorites, Bob Clampett. I'm very proud of this. So Professor, what's next? Yes. What you got cooking, good looking? I'm still teaching and blogging and watching cartoons every single day. Jerry Beck, thank you again for stopping by and talking animation with us. I'm Heidi Lee for Collector Animation, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collector's Cafe.